This 65-foot snow wall in Japan. <laughs> How often does this happen? Because that seems completely freaking crazy, right? This does not feel like a normal occurrence. It probably is in the season. Of course, I'm not expecting this to happen in July or in there. You know what I mean. God, why are you looking at me like that? Mario Kart map. I mean, probably slightly inspired from, right? The water droplets in this grid. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of an early iPhone background. You know which one I'm talking about? The water droplet background. <laughs> Of course it would remind me of that. It's the same damn thing. Thought these two trees looked cool. Well, they do. You're correct. They're husband and wife, and they'll be there forevermore. The line of dry leaves under this fallen tree. All right, now that is pretty neat. I legitimately almost asked how that happened, and then I remembered the tree just blocked the snow. I'm not a clever man. I never promised you that I was. And if you thought I did, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, wrong, wrong. I left my glue alone for two long, and now it's useless and hard. <laughs> That's what she- No, I'm just kidding, I'm just- Damn! That thing was really full! What's this brand name? Patex? 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 I don't know, who cares? That seems like a pretty good deal, if you don't leave your glue alone for too long and it goes bad. Also kind of funny to think about glue going bad, but what else would you call this? Accidentally made an almost perfect C with mayo. Wow, you weren't kidding. It looks kind of like the fridge magnet. You know, the alphabet fridge magnets you'd get. It's almost as perfect as one of those. My mug holder perfectly nestles one pot noodle. We'll consider that your emergency pot noodle, right? Whenever you're out of the other ones, you have the emergency one, you can pop that out at any time. Why do you have a weed mug? I'm sorry, that's just kinda lame. First ever cleaning of leather boots. Oh boy. Oh damn. They look old and heavily, heavily used, which is a good thing. That's a very good thing, alright? But still looking pretty damn spectacular, all things considered. Do you oil them? I will tomorrow. Oh, you're not gonna show us that? You're not gonna show- come on! I wanna see that! I want to see it all shiny. Anyone else organize their apps by colors? So satisfying. I think my mom does this because when she installs an app, she's never going to uninstall it. So she creates folders that are color coded, which is interesting. It's a way to do it for sure. If you're very visual, who cares, right? Also, damn, your doc is held down. That horrible email app. I mean, it's not really horrible. I just don't like it or use it. Is that Apple Music and WhatsApp? All right. Actually, what's in my doc right now? I'm kind of curious. I've got phone, Snapchat, iMessage, even though I don't use it, and my camera. Huh. Well, what do you know? We're all incredibly different people. Isn't that something unique? When you get massive garlic cloves, just take a bite. Actually, you know what? Just pop one of those suckers in and start chewing. You'll thank me later. Mm-mm-mm. Good for you. Getting the last page gave me goosebumps. Getting the last pa Oh, that's cool. I have probably never seen that in my life. Not that someone used the whole notebook. I don't mean that. What I mean is you actually used the serrated part rather than just ripping it out of the spiral. Is that what you call it? Whatever. The binding. We'll call it the spiral binding, right? Oh, God. I just had a realization about Alan Wake, too. Sorry. Sorry, I've just never seen somebody carefully and cleanly rip them out. Just like myself, I always assume most people just sort of tear them, you know? Satisfying little painting. Oh, you weren't kidding. I love that. That is so goddamn cute. Oh, this is the type of thing that if I ever saw it at a thrift store, Goodwill, whatever, not that you should ever get rid of it, please don't sell it. Someone will buy it. But if I ever saw this at a Goodwill, you can bet I wouldn't be leaving without it. It's just so charming. I cleaned up my pantry. Ooh, you've reminded me. We need to clean up ours again. Yeah, I don't know how the hell it got to how it was before. Were you just actually throwing things in there? Look at that. Good God, dude. But hey, you saw the problem. You recognize that and you fixed it. So good on you, though. That's hard to do, honestly. Parmesan wheel cut with a wire cutter. Ah, uh, cutting the cheese with wire. Not, not farting, obviously. Possibly the prettiest bathrooms I've ever seen. Longwood Gardens Pennsylvania. Bathrooms? Oh, well, hey, you weren't kidding. At least the outsides are pretty. I don't know about the insides, but they're nice out here. I made various acorn pendants. Well, look, acorns have to have... Oh, I see. Never mind. I was gonna say
say acorns have to have some sort of use. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. Other than squirrels, does anybody use acorns? For anything, really. It's kind of good to know that someone's at least repping them properly out there. I feel like they go unnoticed a lot. Ah, <sighs> very pretty. I mean, not for me, but still. When moving, my chessboard fit perfectly in this cardboard box. <laughs> I can't be the only psycho in the world that whenever you find a box that flawlessly fits something like that, you tend to keep the box around, even though that doesn't make any sense, right? My guinea pig fits perfectly in my slipper. Either you've got an incredibly tiny foot, or that's a big guinea pig. We'll never know. The chocolate we got on the airplane. What? What airplane? That's cool as hell. I mean, I guess if you're spending a lot of money on a ticket, you do deserve some real treat, not just peanuts. My pizza fits perfectly in my plate. Aha, beautiful. I know the knife is not there for scale, but it's helping. I'm just going to imagine that this pizza is like an extra, extra large, and you're just gonna eat it anyway to yourself. This Pepe, Pepe, this PP, oh, PP, that's what it is. This PP popsicle. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap, that is actually mad impressive. Normally, popsicles, at least over here, you know, the ones you get from the ice cream man driving around the neighborhood look terrible. Looks like they've seen God and God smacked him. But this, this is amazing. Just no gumball eyes, right? First time I've ever seen a food item look exactly like the picture on the container. Very neat. And the first time a popsicle actually looks like a character and not a disfigured version from hell. I helped my parents set up a booth at a convention for their business yesterday. My favorite job is getting their products perfectly lined up. Ooh, let's see, what do they sell? Uh, Grandpa Bex? Is that what that says? I don't know, it's really, really hard. Let's see, I, I can't tell what these are. The image is really low resolution. But, hey, I'd stop by the booth. The way the rainbow follows the curve of the tree. Ah, beautiful. See, that picture's worth a million words. Feels like nature's frame. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna take a note out of Bob Ross's book there. It's it's a frame from nature, all right? Rice fell out of the pot perfectly, and you weren't kidding. Oh, beautiful. I've become obsessed with rice as of late. I don't know why. This perfectly ripe avocado that I cut in half. Well, are you gonna eat the wooden ball in the middle or what? Why are you keeping us all waiting? My rock and roll rose bush just produced this single bloom in the middle of winter. Ooh. You you know what that means, right? It's a bad omen. You're gonna die. I'm kidding. I don't know what I'm talking about. A complete bag of unbroken, intact chips. Can you prove that, though? Like, I need I need you to pour the chips out carefully so that we can actually see that. There's no way in f that every single chip in that bag is unbroken and intact. Refuse to believe it. Sorry. My bathroom scale fits perfectly on my tile. Oh, first of all, clean, please. Second of all, I'd, I would be so ridiculously obsessed with making sure it's perfectly in the square forevermore. Anyone moves it? I'll punch you in the ass, just right in the left ass cheek. These leaves on the ground being frozen through. Oh, kind of looks like spinach. If spinach looked even more ugly and horrifying terrible than it does. I do like spinach, don't worry. I mean, Popeye taught me good. I made a program to emulate what my dice mosaic will look like. Zoom in! Okay, you made a program for this? Let's zoom in here. Ah, I see. Ooh, okay, sorry, the resolution had to bump up. That is cool as hell. I like it. Do you have a uh, picture of the finished product? Did you actually complete this Pikachu? Disc defragment on old PC was incredibly satisfying. It's always a fun program to watch, isn't it? Not something we really have to worry about anymore because I don't think you have to worry about defragmenting your SSDs and big hard drives are starting to go by the wayside to certain things, but it was so fun. You would always forget to defrag for years at a time, so it was way more fun to do it when you got around to it. This display of curry sauce. Oh, I like that. That's just called good branding. My new scooter fits perfectly under my desk. Oh, that's cool. It looks like a PS5 you can ride. <laughs> Your scooter's a rectangle? Yeah, this looks like the... Wait, Honda Moto Compacto? Correct. Moto Compacto. Ceramic watermelon seals I made. I don't know where you got the inspiration for these guys, but it's hilarious and you did a fantastic job. I love them and now need one. Can you send me one? How perfect the separation is in my Guinness. Yeah, if your Guinness don't look like that, I wouldn't drink it. I mean, I wouldn't drink it anyway. I do not like Guinness, but... 
To each their own, I suppose. Fuel gauge at exactly half, and shadow perfectly lined up. Oh, all right. So you're at half, half. You're straight up at 50. No decimal points, no nothing. You are there, my friend. Go get some gas. A section of my friend's bookshelf. Oh, let's zoom in here. What does he got? I see Elvis, and that's about it. Oh, wait, no, I see uh, Iggy Pop, Super Boys. What is Super Boys? Uh, Beastie Boys book. The Ooh, the Rat Pack. I see. I, I see a bit of a pattern here. The way my shitty garden wall collapsed. At least it collapsed pretty. How the hell do you fix something like that, though? Nearly 1,200 dice, all on side one. Well, that's impressive. What's this? What is this? Flowers on a background of snow. I, I like that it says on a background ground of snow, because you're right. You are right. I just thought it was kind of funny that it's semi-translucent paper or whatever, canvas, if you will, just held up to your window when there's snow outside. Not sure what I would have been expecting. I just thought it was slightly humorous. It looks great, though. Looks very, very, very great. The condensation on this can. <laughs> it's a little too perfect. You're going to have to choose something else to drink for now until that starts to dissipate and look less cool. The way these bubbles are arranged on the surface of the soap. Uh, Oh, I love it when the bubbles are super, super tiny, but perfectly sized with each other, of course. Filling my new battery storage case. I kind of want one of these now, you know? It's actually really, really handy. Right now, we just have a drawer that we toss pretty much all of the batteries in at once. So you got to go digging through it, and it's really stupid. How the black stripe in the picture-in-picture -picture mode aligns with the WhatsApp message. The what? Oh, <laughs> now that is really neat. I mean, it's, it's just, is it useful or actually cool in any way? Or purposeful? No. It's still neat. Costco and the parking structure at night. I'm getting some kind of feeling from this. I don't know what it is. It's a really neat photograph. This is the type of thing that in a thousand years people will look at and go, what the hell does any of this mean? Right? Also, yeah, now the parking garage is just giving me liminal feelings. Something is weird here. Perfect at symbol. Honestly, yeah. I've never seen a handwritten at symbol look that good. New Christmas lighting system. DIY. I didn't do it myself. Oh, you did it yourself. Looks great. Looks really, really great. Goddamn, dude. Chill out. Save some Christmas cheer for the rest of us. The space between the top and bottom tape on this Amazon box. I don't know why it took me a second to understand what you meant, but someone definitely tried to do this on purpose. They were so close to making it perfect. They were so, they were right there. Just an inch away from greatness. I mean, a nanometer away from greatness. The way these eggs all lined themselves up in a circle around the edge of the pot while the water was boiling. <laughs> I've had that happen one time to me. I don't often boil eggs or make anything egg-centric even though I love them, but that did happen. It's really neat. My headlight on the entrance of a vacant house. Well, that's actually incredibly scary. I, I had to re-record this bit because I went on a tangent about why the headlight on your car would be aimed up so high and focused so strongly, and then I saw the bike on the ground and realized that you probably rode here on your bike. <laughs> Still, I don't know why the headlight needs to be aimed up so high, but thank God this is not a car. The way the sun lined up with my poster. Whoa, 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 dude. You've got that poster signed. I, I'm, I would imagine it's an original poster. I mean, you've even got the, uh, oh God, the marquee poster up top. Please, please tell me that the sleeve that it's in is UV protective, because as cool as that looks, such a cool collector's item should not be facing direct sunlight, because a few years later, it's gonna be yellow and messed up and ugly, and d again, it's signed, dude. It's signed by THE Tron himself. Sorry, I've been wanting to do this exact setup for a while. I want the original poster, I want it signed by the cast and crew, but I would never put it in a place that faces the direct sun, unless it had some sort of protective coating or whatever over it. I was told my Tupperware cabinet was satisfying by company Company. Satisfying by company? Oh, do you mean like brand for the Tupperware itself? Does anybody out there actually own any Tupperware brand Tupperware? Because I'm pretty sure Tupperware started as, oh god, what would you call it? An MLM pyramid scheme sort of thing? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it just became a household name. USA in three lines. Tyler Faust. Wait, three lines? God, people that have the ability to do anything like this freak me out. How do you logistically wrap your brain around something like this at all? I like the extra effort given to try and make each state identifiable. Rip Rhode Island. As someone who just lived there for eight months, no one will miss anything. Yes, Rhode Island has been deemed unnecessary and therefore removed. 